Okay, so we've gone over lateral raise, we've gone over a front shoulder raise, now we're going to hit the rear shoulder. Um, this, in my opinion, is one of the more important ones, simply because we use our front part of the shoulder a lot, just activities of daily living, like I said in the, the, uh, the previous video, you're reaching forward, you're doing dishes, you're driving, you're on the computer, your, your front part of your shoulder gets a lot of work, as does the pec. So what happens is, because of all the activity you do reaching forward, right, you don't spend a lot of time going like this behind you, okay? Mainly because you look kind of like a weirdo. Um, but what happens is, as you're reaching forward all the time, this all starts to get tight. Even though the biceps, your biceps come up and, and run underneath the shoulders, all of that can get tight and it actually ends up doing this number. Now, I'm sure a good majority of the people watching these videos are like, that's me. That's a lot of people. That's again, 98% of the people I work with got a little bit of this going on. If you drive, um, if you have a long commute, if you drive for work, if you sit at a desk on a computer a long time, um, just kind of check yourself and catch yourself. If you're doing this number, pull up. So we, we, you don't want to neglect the front part of the delts, but you want to really emphasize the rear part of the delts. Now, because they're not used very much, they're not going to be very active and you're going to have to do a lighter weight. If you're doing 10s or 15s or 20s here, you're probably going to be doing 5, 8s or 10s on the rear. Um, so what this is going to look like, and you can have a seat if you want, you, you can sit down and, and lean forward, just make sure you're keeping a straight back. Um, you can even push your butt against the wall if you feel like your back is starting to fatigue. But I like doing them just standing. I feel like I get a little more muscle activity out of it. So what it's going to look like, um, keeping my toes pointed straight ahead, I'm going to bend at that hip so my hips and knees are soft. My back is nice and straight, okay? Uh, you're not rounding at all. You're not, you're not hanging. Your back is nice and straight. One thing you want to think about doing with this is retracting your shoulder blades before you initiate the movement. So what I mean is you're going to pull those shoulder blades tight, okay? Otherwise, if you're here, look where my shoulders are, they're forward again. So, you're here, retract those shoulder blades, I'm in good posture. So, when you come down, retract the shoulder blades, then to initiate the lift, think about your pinkies and your elbows coming up to the ceiling with a slight bend in that elbow. So, you're here, pull out, get that squeeze, come back down. Um, typically, I would recommend looking straight ahead. Um, or down to the ground. When I say straight ahead, I don't mean with the knee or the, the neck cranked like that. You want to try and keep a somewhat straight line from the crown of your head to your tailbone. So you're here, but you also don't want to be like that. Um, come up again, nice little squeeze, back down. As you're coming up, again, you'll see people doing this. You don't want to be jerky jerky with it. You want to think Elbow is going to come about even with the shoulder, maybe a little past it, but not by much. So as you come up, squeeze it, back down, contraction, back down. That's a rear shoulder raise.